The unemployment rate among Minnesota veterans is variously estimated at between eight and a half and 16 percent, which at the upper level would mean it would be more than double the state average. So one of the ways in which we believe we can be of most assistance to veterans is to expand the Minnesota GI Bill, which is now limited to those veterans post 9-11, to veterans of all ages, which would allow them to, especially those in mid-career who don't have uh, employment, to go back to the uh, colleges or universities around the state and get the retraining necessary or additional training necessary to be uh, able to be employed to the full maximum of their abilities and, and a maximum of the income for the, themselves and their families. We believe this will have a positive impact on the lives of the veterans, all veterans of the state of Minnesota. We of course, as you all know, have that strong influx of uh, new veterans that have had active duty in the footprint since 9-11 in the Middle East. But my generation also, the Vietnam veterans and beyond, and the Gulf War of the uh, 90s uh, are there also and have issues as we deal with this economy. All of us remember the tsunami that hit the coastline. And I use that analogy and that analogy is resonating with the fact that we are going to receive a tsunami of veterans coming back to the state of Minnesota. That coupled with the existing veterans is going to be absolutely critical that we get a holistic system in place to take care of all veterans. You will hear the Veterans Department, Department of Veterans Affairs, use the phrase, it is our mission to bring our veterans all the way home. The money that's been allocated by the state of Minnesota has been underutilized. So it is our recommendation that we will use that underutilized portion of money that's already been allocated to make opportunities for Vietnam and uh, Gulf War veterans who are in need of retooling, if you will, or new job skills uh, to be, take advantage of that so they can get into the workforce. I mean, if a veteran came in and says, I want to be a rocket science, they're not going to do it. However, I have been ex, uh, I just need more training on uh, the jobs that I want require me to have a, uh, got to be proficient in, uh, say, Microsoft office. I need a class on Microsoft Office. I need to be able to demonstrate I can do the Word, the Excel, and, and so forth. That might be, it might be as simple as that, and they go and they take some courses, but they have the funding ability to, to obtain